Hey guys, what's up? This is Inventor Boy 16, and <clears throat> um, I'm just gonna be giving you guys a really, really just in-depth um, tour of my um, of my um, uh, solar generator that I built. Um, because I know in a lot of my videos that um, I don't do like whenever I do, do whenever I did do my videos on this, it wasn't really about the whole thing. It was just about a particular part. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you just all the basics about it and stuff like that. I'll probably, this will probably be, be a two-part video. I am not sure, but um, I'll try to make a very in-depth tour of this thing as I can. And before we get started, I want to know, I want to let you guys know that I am actually using it outside. Very br bright out, and my solar panels are on the roof up there, and they go down this messy little wire here, and then into the back where my little 12 volt charging port is for solar so let's get started with the review with the um, um tour of the generator so i'll just be going over the outside of it and all that stuff with you first so on the outside here i have my um control panel here so i'll show you guys the different things this is the um master power and when this is on when this thing's off none of the 12 volt systems on this thing will run only the 24 volt charging or um 12 volt or battery tie parallel will work but nothing else will work none of these switches at the bottom will do anything unless the master power is turned on so right now it is on because i'm charging it um, and, so, yeah, but, um, this is the master power switch. Um, like I said, this controls these three buttons and the basic controls of this unit, such as the 12-volt cigarette outlet in the side here. I'll see if you can see it. I don't know. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it's very bright out. I can tell. No. 12-volt port. So this is the cigarette port. I've actually used this a couple times to power my other inver inverters and other things. Um, uh, so yeah, that's um, so that's one of the things that these switches control. So this switch here, I do not know if you guys can read that. I'm so sorry, um, but it says um, on the switch it's a 12 volt port solar. So that means it ru it runs to the um, 12 volt outlet there and then it runs to this the solar thing there or whatever jumper cable I don't know what that thing is going to be used. but right now I just use it for my solar so it's just sort of a solar port um so yeah so that's what this switch controls and then this is for the inverter which uh, it was on but the inverter wasn't on because I turned off the inverter so let's turn on the inverter and that little beep was it sucking up any juice that it used to have in there. So, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, so yeah, this is the inverter switch. Control, it controls the inverter from the outside instead of the inside. So I don't have to flip the switch on the inverter. And then this is the fan for whenever I'm charging this thing outside in the sun. Or if I'm charging it with the wall adapter I have, which is a 24-volt wall adapter, which... The batteries heat up quite a bit whenever I'm using it, but it does work. And then I have the fan. that This runs the fan on board. So, yeah. And then this is the fan. Very decent little uh, um, CPU fan from a pretty um, nice little computer I got it from. So I'm going to shut the power down and actually show you guys how... M I'm going to shut down master power and show you guys how much this... Um, how well the fan... How much power these fan the panels are putting out. And, um, note guys that this is a, um, <clears throat> that this, um, uh, fan or whatever here, it is a, um, it runs very, um, uh, it's a very low amp fan. It's a 0.10 amp or 0.20 amp. I don't know really, but it's a, like a very low amp fan. So it runs very, it runs very, um, smoothly and it's very, um, power efficient. So, and this is the power just coming from the, um, solar panels and the reason it will it'll run even though the master switch is not on because the solar is on so the solar provides p power to the inverter and to the fan so i'm going to turn on the fan and show you guys how much power this thing has it 
it's not running very well because right now the sun's starting to go down. But you can hear how quiet it is. But it's got a lot of power, guys. It's definitely got a lot of power. But if I flip on power, it'll show you how just how much power that the generator has. So yeah, but the sun's starting to go down, so it's not running very well. Um, but yeah, and then this is the switch for the inverter, and if I turn it on, you'll hear the inverter beep because of the panels being low on power. So yeah, flip the power back on so I can get that inverter to shut up and then charge the batteries. So those are the three basic controls. You got your 12 volt solar and um, charging port for the solar and then you have this outlet here. And then you have the inverter fan which powers the inverter inside which is my PowerBright 400 watt inverter. Um, and then um, you have the fan which is just a cooling fan that cools this thing down. And it is very efficient guys. It runs very nicely. It cools this thing down easily. So yeah. Um, I got it on this um, caster that I built because this thing doesn't weigh that much, but whenever I want to move it around, it helps to be able to just roll it instead of having to pick it up because it does weigh a bit. It weighs about, like, I don't know, 20 to 30 pounds. I really have no idea, but it does weigh quite a bit because it has those batteries inside of it and stuff, and it has all the accessories and junk in there, so, yeah. So, but it has the caster, and the, all four wheels move independently on the caster, which I built the caster by hand, so, yeah. And then, um, it has these outlets here, the 12-volt port here. So it has that, and then it has the 100 and tw the, out the standard outlets here. It doesn't say, I, for I didn't put what it says on there, but it just says outlet. And then these are the outlets it runs to. So, and these plug into the inverter up at the top. And the reason I have these instead of just the inverters out sticking out is because these make it a little bit easier. So you don't need an extension cord necessarily to run this unit. So, um, so yeah, I will give you a demonstration of the pa of it running. So, oh wait, before I, sorry guys, forgot to mention these um switches up here. These are my battery control switches, and when these two switches here are tied in, are both on, it ties all the batteries in there in parallel to make it into one big 12-volt battery. And then this switch here, these have to be off in order for it to work, but this switch here ties them in series to be able to run 24 volts so it can charge off the wall if necessary. So, and if I do do it, you'll, it'll pop and the circuit breaker will go on, but yeah. So that's what these two these switches can do. So yeah, I'm gonna turn on the inverter and I'll show you with my multimeter that this guy actually does create some electricity. So I'm gonna plug in my multimeter. And like I said, the guys, this is definitely most likely gonna be a two-part video because I'm gonna be showing you the inside and explaining that stuff to you. So I'm gonna go into my 200 volt. Right now it's at um, 96 volt because the thing is that the power bright, it's a very smart inverter. It knows if it needs power or not and uh, it can control how much power it wants coming out. So it's staying right around 9.64 to 9.65. The reason it's spiking a little bit is because it's just trying to find a nice calm voltage for it. So, yeah. But... Whenever I put a load on this, the voltage does increase. I've gotten it up to 130 volts before, which you're probably thinking, what the heck. But it, can, it controls how much this thing runs. So, yeah, shut the thing off. And, yeah, so, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video. It is a two-part video. So, I'll be doing the next part here shortly. And look for it on my channel or whatever. And, so, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And this is the end of part one. See you guys later. Bye.